Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Adam and I like to talk about all things luxury, fashion and style. So if that's something that interests you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to do a review of my Foray Lepage Calibre 21 bag. So I thought I'd cover off the make and the style of the bag um, and just cover off the brand a little bit and then I will do a what fits and then just give you guys my general overview of what I think about the bag. Okay guys, so this is the box with my bag in it. Now I store it like this. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to keep them in the box, but I do. Um, and yeah, so that's the box that comes with it. And it just says Foray Lepage, Paris 1717. And I just have it in here in its dust bag, like so. So you'll see here the box just has all the ribbon in there. Ooh. So to my partner's frustration, I do like to keep boxes. Um, I have thrown a number out, um, but I try and keep ones that are kind of like a one-off type thing. Um, so we're running out of space in this apartment, so we'll see what happens there. Um, but yes, so that's the dust bag for a Lepage. Couldn't tell you what that means. Um, so let's get her out. So I store her still with the paper here. I know I'm very anal, um, but that's just who I am. Um, so, this is the Foray Lepage Calibre 21 um, bag. So, uh, for those I thought I'd cover off as well, if you haven't seen the unboxing video of this bag, I will um, link it down below in the description box. Um, and maybe it's worth going and having a look at that because um, I cover off the brand a bit more in that as well and um, discuss the bag a little bit um, in that. So it might be worth checking that out first. So the um, Foray Lepage Calibre bag. Now this was a brand that I um, got interest in because of Connor from The Closet. And um, I was watching his YouTube videos and he owns a couple of pieces from Foray Lepage. And um, he is the one that kind of got me looking at the brand. And I was looking at their bags and I came across this one and this was like last year, like it was some time ago. And I really liked the look of this bag and not necessarily in this colorway. I was looking at a, a number of different colors, um, but it was him that kind of got me looking at them. So thank you, Connor, for that. Um, but I'm so happy that um, that happened because I now have this bag in my collection. So this one, I've just got um, some notes here just to remind me of the information. So this colorway is the Walnut Brown Scale Canvas and the Beige Leather. So they come in a number of different colors. You can get like the gray. There's also a um, burgundy type color. They have like a blue, which is like the classic um, color way for Foray Lepage. Um, there's like, some lighter there's a green I think and there's like a white version so there's a number of different colorways for this bag um, when I was in Melbourne and at the Melbourne store and I'll put some pictures in here um, I wanted to try on a number of the different colorways because I wasn't 100% sure which colorway I wanted I thought I wanted the darker color and um, it's like a black leather however at the time I decided to try on the bags and this colorway is what drew me in. And I think for those of you who watch my channel um, all the time are aware how much I like beige or like um, these type of neutral browns and things like that. So it was kind of inevitable that I would end up getting this colorway. Um, and the reason was um, I ended up going to Melbourne to for my birthday and my partner and I went down doing some shopping and I knew they had the very beautiful Melbourne store down there. So I booked an appointment um, to go visit them and went in there and it was great service. It's probably the best I've experienced in any of the houses so far. 
Um, they really cater to your needs. They will do anything um, for you and that store is great. So yeah, so this is the bag. Um, enough rambling. So as you can see, it comes in that beautiful beige colorway on the leather and it's a walnut brown canvas, as I mentioned. Now it's a top handle bag and as you can see, it has a, a crossbody strap that also can come out and go back in to the bag. Now it's a champagne gold color, the chain, which is really nice. And you can see under here too, which I think is a great detail. Um, it has like the canvas, the walnut canvas under the strap. So the one that's actually attached physically to the top here, um, which I think is really cool. And then, of course, this one is just full leather, which is the one that comes up and down. Um, this front pocket here is in the shape of a gun. So, um, for those of you who don't know, Foray Lepage originated as a gunsmith and it, they created armory and all those types of things for the military back, back way then. Um, and in 1717 and onwards, I guess, um, for the French military. So that's um, the heritage of the brand. Of course, now they've moved into luxury goods and that's why they have these um, gun, um, what do you call it, motifs or whatever um, on their leather goods because it's a, a homage to the, um, the ori origins of the brand. So this is a um, gun shape. You can also get this gun um, as like an accessory. Um, this is useless. <laughs> it is literally just the look of it and that's it. Um, so this pops open and it looks like you can fit things or you could possibly fit in here are receipts or I don't know, those little tickets that you get from when you park in a car space. Um, you could probably squeeze that in there, but it does not fit cards. I've tried, um, nothing, nothing fits in there but paper. So I guess it's good for something, but um, to be honest, I've never put paper in there. I've tried just to see what fits, but I've never used that pocket. Um, and whenever I'm out, I always get comments about this and they always go, oh, it looks like a gun. And then I'm like, it is. <laughs> well, it's not, but <laughs> it looks like a gun. So um, yeah, so that's that. And then you'll see on the sides, you have the canvas that goes all the way under the bottom and on the other side as well. And then when you open it, so it has a magnetic closure, as you can see here, and the canvas is all here, and then leather on the flap. So I love the magnetic closure, and it just snaps close. Um, you don't, well, I don't have issues finding the hole, um, and the best part of it is that it's um, magnetic, so it just snaps into place when it finds its spot. Um, so yeah, really great bag. And then on the back here, you also have a slip pocket. I use this one um, for notes um, or like tickets or um, receipts or whatever it might be. I do slip those into this pocket and not this one. Um, probably because this one, you have to open it to use it. Whereas this one, it's just there and you can slide it in. So it's easier um, from a functional perspective. So inside is just the hole. So you can see there it's just lined with the black cotton. And on the back here, you also have a slip pocket, which again is similar to the one on the back where you can just slide in your basic receipts or notes or whatever it might be. I have put um, my uh, Louis Vuitton card holder in there, so that fits fine. Um, but yeah, just the basic um, slip pocket there. Otherwise, it's just a hole with the chain in there. So, um, you would have seen this little guy. So this is the, um, I can't remember his name. It is the Medelais Coup d'etat. So it's just a, obviously like a soldier head. Um, so at Foray Lepage, these are additional to the bag. So you can add these to pretty much any of their bags, as long as they have these little D-rings. Um, I wanted to add it because I think it's a real homage to the brand. 
um, and something I just thought would be really cute um, to add. So yeah, that's the bag. Now, in terms of, um, I love the bag, and I think in terms of any cons, so I think the, there's a lot of pros and I love it. I'm not going to really cover pros, but to, if there are any cons, the only thing, and I accept it because I, I knew it would be a thing and I don't think it's an issue at all, um, but the chain. So obviously the chain has to come out of the pocket where you're putting your stuff um, and it goes back into the same pocket. When you are carrying it top hand, uh, just by the top handle, Obviously the chain needs to sit in there, so it's going to be flowing amongst all your stuff. And then if you suddenly get sick of using the using it as a top handle, you need to pull this up. And sometimes it gets caught amongst your stuff, especially if it's full and you're pulling that through and it gets tangled, particularly with keys, and pulls the keys. And to be honest with you, it's a first world problem. All you have to do is open it and untangle it and then you're fine. Um, I don't think it's a big issue. It's just a small thing that I, I find sometimes I have to deal with. Because sometimes I like just carrying it top handle because um, I think it's really cute. And then other times I like to pull it out and do it crossbody just to give myself, allow myself to be hands free. So um, small con, um, that is not a big deal. In terms of um, any other ones, I'm just thinking these are great to add the only thing i notice is when i have a crossbody and i'm walking you can hear it hitting the whole time especially because i'm a fast walker so it's probably got a bit of momentum there not the end of the world i have my earphones in most of the time so it annoys everyone else probably and not me um so um again not a big issue and i think it's worth it for the aesthetic because i think it's really cute to have that there so um, that's pretty much it for me. I think all in all, I love the bag. Um, I really enjoy it and I'll continue to enjoy it. So mostly I, I imagine people use this as a um, night bag, um, like date night type bag. I don't, I use it, well I do use it for that, but I also use it during the day. I might go shopping and I'll take this with me. I might, um, I don't know, just, throughout the day go out for breakfast or whatever it might be I'll decide to use it because you can use these bags whenever you want and I think it's quite versatile just for your essentials um, in terms of measurements so this one measures 13 centimeters high it is um, five centimeters in depth and it is um, 21 centimeters in width so um yeah pretty cute and fairly small um now in terms of what fits in there so i'll show you now for me i'll pull the chain out for me most of the time i will always have my phone in my hand i rarely put it in here unless i'm out for dinner with my partner and don't want to use my phone so I'll put it away or I'm in a setting where I just don't want to be accessing my phone. I think it should just be left um, away. So in terms of what fits, I will show you. So this is my phone case. I'm filming with my phone, so I'll just have to use my case. So you'll see there, hopefully. So that's the phone case in there. So you can see that there's still a, a, a bit of space in there. And then I will also put my Gucci card holder in here. Let's slide that in again. So it's starting to fill up. It's a bigger card holder, this one. Um, so if you could just have a simpler card holder with just the slots, it would probably take up less space. And my um, Dior lip balm. And throw in my AirPods and put my keys on the top there and there you can see that it's oh, <laughs> you can see it's pretty full oh. so that's fairly full to the brim there a little bit of space you might be able to put something on that last little bit there so i do have my mints here 
I throw those in the top. Squeeze it in. There we go. So that's very full. So, fits a, a punch. Fits pretty well for a small bag like this. Um, and then we'll close it. And look at that. Perfect. No issues at all fitting any of that. Doesn't even bunch up the top. So yeah, fits a fair bit. Fairly heavy. It's a light bag without all the stuff, but there's a lot of stuff in there right now. So um, yeah, pretty decent. Um, so yeah, and I tend to only use this when I don't need a lot, obviously, um, which I think is really great. It's very durable. Um, I've worn this bag when I have um, jeans on and obviously colour transfer can be a problem um, when it comes to leather and this one, the, the drop on the chain by the way, it's 60 centimetres the chain, so that's the chain length, 60 centimetres and um, I think generally the bottom part of the bag hits my pants or like a bit lower to my t-shirts or shirts that I have on so that part would probably be exposed mostly to um, any of the jeans and colour transfer but as you can see there's nothing um, really on there um, that I can tell anyway so in terms of colour transfer I think there's no issues for me at this point um, and it seems very durable uh, the leather, the canvas, it's a lot softer, so if anyone re recalls like the Gucci canvas or the Louis Vuitton canvas, it's a bit more um, tougher to the touch than this one. So this one's a lot, a bit softer, um, which is really nice. So I thought I'd cover off the cost of the bag as well, even though I covered that in my unboxing. Um, and like I mentioned, that's linked below. I thought I'd just touch on it anyway. Um, so, I just got the receipt here. Um, the Calibre 21, the bag itself, cost me 100, oh, I wish, 1980 Australian dollars, including tax. And, um, the medallion coup d'etat that I got put on the side, on the D-ring, he cost an additional 130 Australian dollars. So in total, I paid $2,110 for this bag with the little medallion. So um, I think it's well worth it. I love this bag. It was my introduction to Foray Lepage. I think the craftsmanship of this, of this brand is amazing. And they have a lot of different types of bags. I've been eyeing off... Um, the tote bags that they have. They have a huge variety of sizes and colours um, of the of different tote bags and I think they look amazing. I know that Connor, he has um, a really beautiful emerald um, green um, tote bag which I think is really nice and that's the, the longer, taller version. Um, it's a really nice bag as well and they have a number of more casual bags like backpacks and um, soft um, crossbody bags as well, which I think are really nice. So um, it's a great brand. I really recommend um, you guys check them out. For anyone that's in Australia, so all their pricing is done in USD. So um, I, when I was uh, looking at the brand, they have their WhatsApp um, or phone number on their website. I was just texting the sales associates through WhatsApp and asking them questions in relation to pricing in Australian dollars, which was the easiest way to um, find that information out. Of course, you can just Google the um, conversion, but the pricing isn't always going to be the conversion. Um, in fact, I actually think it's a bit more than your usual conversion. So um, definitely check them out. I think they're great. I will probably one day look at purchasing another bag and probably in the tote variety because um, I think they're really nice and something that I'd love to have in my collection. Well guys I hope you enjoyed this review of my Calibre 21 bag. Um, if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to comment below, like this video, let me know what your thoughts are and if you think 
um, for a Lepage is a good brand and what you think of my bag. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. So talk soon. Bye.